Hello Libras, welcome to Souls Intersect. I have your October of 2016 Intuitive Tarot reading. If you're interested in getting a private reading, please email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com or you can book directly through my site following the link below. I also want to remind you that I do past life readings in addition to intuitive tarot readings and you can read more about either of those on the site. Okay, so getting started, there's definitely some difficult stuff going on for some of you, it feels like. I don't have any major arcana, and I really do feel that this, whatever is happening right now in your life, that is, it's feeling like some conflict at the mental level, but definitely related to other people and some stuff that's happened with others. It, it feels like it is, I don't want to call it minor, because it's, it's looking like it's really bothering you, but... I feel that it is going to pass. It feels like it is not something that is, well, number one, going to last, but also not something that's meant to really knock you down completely. I feel like some of you may be taking it that way. And again, I don't mean to say that it shouldn't be bothering you the way that it is, but I'm getting the sense that a lot of you are beating yourselves up over whatever it is, maybe blaming yourself for something that happened, even though it feels, it just feels really related to others. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me go through the cards on the top row from the left. We have the Nine of Swords and then the Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and then on the bottom row, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. So definitely some harsh cards, but number one, I want to I wanna mention that in this deck in particular, a lot of these Swords cards never feel as intense for me, and I think with them coming up, especially all together like this, it really does feel a lot more like something at the mental level, that it's because of the way you're processing it, beating yourself up, needless worries that is making it a lot worse than it needs to be. You can even see in the Three of Swords at the bottom left in this deck, you don't even have that heart being pierced, and then the Ten of Swords next to it, you don't even have the blood. And it's not that the cards don't have that meaning anymore, and in fact, some of you may have been dealing with a heartbreak or a loss, but energetically what I'm feeling is that even in that case, for a lot of you, it feels like something that you we're expecting maybe to end and even on some level wanted to end and are feeling some relief. You still feel the ending energy and you still feel the, the sadness and heartbreak. Um, Three of Swords in this deck comes up for me as more disappointment too. So you're feeling that stuff, but it doesn't feel as, as strong. It doesn't feel like this is as much of a life altering change or ending or painful suffering that some of you are going through. With both the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords, again, I want to talk to the mental, speak to the mentality again. It feels like there, there must be a way for you to reduce some of your worry and your self-blame and looking at it from such a pessimistic angle. I really feel that this reading is coming in because it's meant to offer you some hope. There must be a way for you to, number one, realize that it has to do with other people, and I'll come to that in a moment, but with the Five of Wands, you get some of that competitive vibe. You do see there's two people there. The Page of Pentacles doesn't feel like you, and even the Two of Wands, I, I feel like maybe it's more of like a partnership kind of energy. Not necessarily romantic, but it, it could be... A business thing or someone that you've been butting heads with it feels like so that brings in that competitive vibe too but again this the sense that I'm getting is that you're attributing way too much of this to yourself and blaming yourself too much and although something may have come to an end it feels like this is really a positive new beginning so some of what I'm getting with the Page of Pentacles is this instigator. <clears throat> it's really feeling like this person is being really stubborn about something and 
that that's really been weighing on you. In fact, some of you may have chosen to exit a situation, a partnership or something like that because this person just wasn't moving in the way that you wanted to and you weren't expecting or you didn't want this to come to an end at this point because there's too much going on and now you're feeling like it's too much of a burden for you. And for some of you, that's why you're taking on so many of the worries yourself because it feels like there was a partnership. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having some allergies. Um, there was a partnership either at the business or romantic level and you've now gone out on your own and, and so there's more responsibility for you and it's feeling like too much of a burden. So this person also feels like energetically they, they may still be in the picture because they're coming up in the reading and I feel that they may still be poking at you in some way and pushing your buttons. One of the solutions I'm feeling is to completely get this person out of your life. In regard to a romantic partnership and the ending, for most of you, it also feels like it's come to an end. You may not have finalized it, but the person is still very much around. Some of you may still be living with the person or just in contact with the person. And I really feel strongly that the message is to eliminate this person from your life because and it may just be at the energetic level, though it may actually be some things that they're doing or saying. It feels to me like they are really pushing your buttons and getting in the way of further progress. And I think that, gosh, it even feels like there's something going on where they are causing you to worry more. I'm really, I'm seeing like text messages coming through and it really is very literal for some of you because this person may actually be pointing out things that you need to worry about or it may not be that directly, but you know, it could be a little bit more covert than that, but I'm seeing text messages or um, something on social media, even emails coming through where this person is still very much in your world. Maybe you do have some responsibility towards them for some reason with the 10 of wands and then it being the page of pentacles. Maybe there's a financial responsibility and maybe that's why they keep bothering you about something. It could even be asking for money. I feel that, and so in, if that's the case, it may be more complicated to cut this person out of your life, but I would say at least start taking steps towards this because it feels like this month, all of the sword stuff is going to just continue if you're not able to get them out of your life because it feels like they they're really weighing on you and they're really causing this further anxiety. There's something more with <clears throat> the Ten of Wands and the Two of Wands. I feel also that there is something left to do for some of you with this person, which is why they're still in your life. And, and now I don't mean necessarily a responsibility or something binding you to them that is a burden, but actually maybe something positive. And the Two of Wands can, can also just be about having a heart to heart with someone, facing someone and coming to a higher space, coming to a higher conclusion. And so for some of you, it may just be a conversation that needs to happen where it will help to resolve and ease some of this swords energy. It's like, it's almost like coming out of the mental level by discussing with this person, maybe what was positive. And this applies for business as well. It could be, you know, looking at what you can take from it that was positive and sort of rise above some of this mental worry get to a higher ground and it could even be about raising the vibration looking at maybe spiritually how this benefited you and I feel that that would really raise the vibration and help you to get past some of this worry and concern and beating yourself up and for those of you feeling like you are placing a lot of guilt on yourself or blaming yourself for the situation I don't really feel like you were responsible of course you took actions especially if it was some kind of partnership, you were as much part of it as the other person. But I definitely feel that you are 
placing too much responsibility on yourself that doesn't need to be placed on you. And I do want to reiterate that I, I feel there's a lot of hope in this reading. It feels like this is something that will pass and that the cycle is ending. Let me see what was on the bottom of the deck for you guys. Great, so uh, the star, star card is that hope that I was mentioning before. I do feel that right around the corner is some resolution to this. There may be some things you need to do. Again, you may need to take steps to get this person out of your life or to at least lessen contact, or if you can, go ahead and do that right away. I really feel like that would be beneficial. And maybe before that, for some of you, having a conversation or, or looking at some of the benefits of this, but I do feel that hope and inspiration is really around the corner. You're going to see the benefits of this soon and move to a brighter space. Okay, thank you Libras. If you have any questions, please email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com or you're welcome to leave comments below. Thank you.